Right then, welcome back. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good day. And today, we're going to do the Valencia Master event. Now, truth be told, I don't know the track too well. I, I know where it goes, purely because of watching MotoGP and other bits and bobs. So, we're going to give it a go. And I've said go about 500 times already. And the first one is on the national circuit, so the short circuit, which I've never raced on, never used, didn't even know it existed. And we're on 250cc two strokes, and it's on an R in, and I ended up settling on the Honda. Now, setup wise, the lighter the bike, the harder it is to get heat in the tyres. So, a combination of spring preload and spring hardness and all that jazz, and we muck about with it, we go for soft tyres, and. It's not too bad. It's blatantly obvious out the back of the track that I don't know where I'm going, but it's 252 strokes on a track. I really like Valencia. Big boy corners, fast. Yes, it's not the longest straight in the world. It's quite tight and twisty, but if you've got a good front end and you're happy setting the bike up to go into corners carrying quite a bit of speed, not like that though, then it's a good track. It's a good track and I really enjoyed this one. done it's done it's done apart from the ding dong on the first lap it took a lap to kind of work out where we we're going and what we we're doing that wasn't too bad it was all right um with the dlc masters events they tend to get progressively harder so the further along you get the closer to the endurance race and yeah it gets harder and harder so next one then is i think it's a time attack again on the national circuit we're on the r3 now hmm I would have preferred the R3 bike first, however, it doesn't matter, it is what it is, and now I kind of know where um, the national circuit goes, I've got a rough idea of what I'm doing, and it's not a time attack, it's a track day. So what we've got, 10 passes in two and a bit minutes, mm, it all depends on the spacing, and well, me not falling off.
and it's done. What was that? 11 seconds left. It, it doesn't matter. It was all right. It wasn't too bad. The spacing was okay. I did fall off and make a Horlicks of it, but I was going to quit and I carried on, so I'm glad I did. It wasn't the, the nicest thing to watch in the world, but it's done. Right. GP circuit. First race on the GP circuit, 600cc sports bikes, race modified sports bikes, and it's all about the front end, as I've said before. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with a Virus 986 M2 race bike. It's a CBR 600RR engine in it, and it's got weird hub centre steering, which I don't have enough time to talk about but a very clever concept that never caught on because apparently motorcyclists are all Luddites and we all like nothing more than conventional forks. So attempt one, into turn one, I'm all over the shop and for some reason I've turned the wheel control right down and we're off. Attempt number two, look at that front tyre. It is getting absolutely annihilated. Way too fast into turn 12, run wide, in the gravel, we're doing cartwheels again. So far, so wonderfully good. Front end needs a bit of support. It's not having the best of times. Changed the setup a couple of clicks, made no difference whatsoever. Into turn 12 again, lean on the AI rider, get off. Think I'll get back on, I'll carry on. And get absolutely torpedoed um, by the AI. Attempt four, into the last corner. Bit of a weird one, I struggle with this on this 600. Run a bit wide, back end steps out, and I go for a little ride over the top of the motorcycle. So. So, 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 what is this? Attempt five? So, attempt five. And we finally, I say finally, we finally get it done.
and it's done. How mental, how absolutely unbelievably mental was that? I, uh, yeah, as races on 600s at Valencia, I don't think I'll ever better that. That was, it was good to watch, it was good to do. I had sweaty palms, I didn't think I was going to make it. It was on the last lap. It was, yeah, that was a riot. Anyway, next one. On to 1000cc naked bikes. Now, I wasn't sure what I was going to use for the for the endurance race. Um, I had a little bit of an idea, because I thought, mm, I wonder if I could do that. But So I'm umming and ahhing. What do I use? Do I use the MT-10 for the nice noise and the fact that it's an absolute animal to use a speed triple? In the end, I went for the MT-10. I wasn't going to use a V4 or a cross cross-plane crank Yamaha for the endurance race. So... It's the Grand Prix circuit, it's a 135 for a time attack, and of all the race modified nakeds, I would, I, would I say this one's the best? I don't know. I would say it's the best, but it's certainly up there. It is an absolute riot to ride, and it makes a filthy noise. 135.8, let's go. And we did it quite easy but the one thing i am noticing is that the front tire is getting hot very very hot on most of the bikes so going into the endurance race i'm just thinking front end front end front end i need plenty of spring hardness i need plenty of preload i need a decent tire on there so yeah the, <laughs> the endurance race the end i won't say the endurance race three goes this took three goes and the first two it absolutely shafted me. So I was um and ah, and I want to get now. Troy Bayliss. Now the reason I wanted to use the 1098R, Troy Bayliss got a wild card at Valencia on a Ducati in 2000 and something. I don't know the exact year. Can't remember. My brain's not like that. And he put the forks out of his Ducati Superbike into his MotoGP bike and took the piss and beat everybody. But we digress. Attempt number one. Attempt number one. Time's up. Lap 26. Full 40 minutes are done. 0.254 of a second penalty. All I've got to do is get out of the last corner. And the AI just give me a little tickle. And lo and behold. We finished. Second. Yes. After 41 minutes of riding. We finished second. So I thought no it's alright I'll do it again. The bike's alright. 40 minutes are up again. 26 laps in we've got very little penalty all i've got to do is chase down my mate christian barrios on his ducati get past him and we're all right i'm thinking last corner because i carry loads of speed get a slide on there slide off over the curb into the gravel jobs done we're off I, you cannot begin to imagine the utter rage that came out of me this was first thing on a Sunday morning and Mrs. Motto was still asleep in bed. I oh I, do, I nearly snapped the controller in half and felt like throwing it through a telly. But I didn't. 
because being grumpy gets you nowhere. So we went again, attempt number three. Yes, we get it done. No, it's not straightforward. So off the start, AI starts. Oh, look at this. So we go from 12th, because we don't do qualifying, we just ignore it, to 6th. So we've done half the work already. Having done this twice before, I know that it's a bit tight on fuel, so I went to default mapping. Halfway around lap one, <coughs> excuse me, way too close to the IR and we're off. It took a couple of laps to catch up, so this is the start of lap three, down the straight, into this first corner. That, I know it was a bit aggressive, but it's done. However, Karma, yeah, Karma worked rather quickly at Valencia, apparently, on endurance races. So we ended up back at the back of the field. Lap five, so we're almost 10 minutes in. We are 10 seconds away from the leader. We're mucking about for minor places and I just can't, I can't get anywhere. And the AI were fast, they were quick. Yes, I could have used a faster bike. I get that. It's not about using the fastest bike. That's not why I play it. I play the game to, to use the bikes that I want to use on the tracks that I want to make me feel good and make me feel happy because the world is a shit place at the minute and this is how I escape. So riding this Ducati, the Bayless-esque Ducati on Valencia and doing an endurance race was just ticking loads of boxes for my little tingle zones. So we're pushing, trying to get past, the AI are quick, they don't want to give it up easy, we're on default mapping, we don't have a massive pace advantage. I, I haven't made it easy for myself, I absolutely understand that, but despite making a mess of it twice, it was quite enjoyable. So start lap six, we're up to seventh, and we just keep pushing on. The tires aren't too bad. Back end of lap eight, we've managed to catch up with the next two riders and down the straight. You were in the draft, yeah, all right. I mean, one of them's just walking away from me, but it's because he's on an MV and it makes loads of noise. Into the first corner, a bit later on the brakes, bit of a slide, oh. and then we end up with a bit of a ding dong for half a lap or so where he doesn't want to give it up and he's too fast for me to kind of get back underneath him he's just got much more acceleration than me so i have to do a little bit of planning and think well i've got to sell him a dummy and run wide and yada 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 and there was a bit of thinking about it all the time watching the gap to the leader 7.5 seconds so hmm so far we're doing okay So we finally got past him, a couple of laps later, so end of lap 10, start of lap 11, we up into fourth, five and a half seconds behind the leader, so we are taking chunks of time out. End of lap 11, oh dear me, into the last corner, run way too wide, and we're off again, back down in sixth, 10 seconds behind the leader now. I've got fuel in hand, stick the map onto performance, the pit stop cycles have started as well, no 21 minutes. So some of those are going to go into the pits again. End of lap 13, just under 20 minutes left now. We're up to third. And so the side, well, second, because there's two of them in the pits. And then it's like, right, I'm going to pit. I need to leave myself enough time. I've got 20% fuel left, so I know I can run default mapping. And then have a bit of fuel left at the end to have a bit of a push. Tyres-wise, they're not the warmest tyres in the world. So we're going to go medium, medium. Fuel-wise, I wanted to fill it. But I also wanted to save time, so I went for just under 80%. See where we come out. <coughs> Excuse me. And we came out quite... It's not necessarily the fourth position, it's the distance to the leader. 40 seconds. Am I racing first place? No, I'm not. So if we look at the map, they've gone in the pits. So we're racing the French rider at the front. Lap 18 just under 30 minutes done and we catch up front tyre is getting a bit warm maybe he's going for the medium front was a bit of a no no I could have gone a medium rear and a hard front but it's 
it is what it is, we've got what we've got. I don't have a massive penalty, so it's a case of just lining them up again, setting them up and trying to get past. And they were not given anything, nothing whatsoever. Wherever I wanted to be, they'd put the bike, they'd park it on the apex and get on the brakes. So I was having to run wide, try and suck them deeper into the corner, who were, and then see if I could get underneath them and accelerate past as we came out. Luckily, I say luckily, stupidly, I was still on the performance map, so I am chewing through fuel at a vast rate of knots. 11 minutes left, 50% fuel. That's not gonna reach the end if I leave it on performance map. And I don't realize, and it, it almost, it almost absolutely sunk me for the third time. However, however, I did notice it. So, lap 19, 11 minutes left, we're in second, and we're chasing down a Spaniard in Spain not going to be the easiest thing to do in the world. So we're past. Yes, it was a bit aggressive and well, it's not like they give me any quarter anyway. So 10 minutes left, we're up into first. All we've got to do is not crash. That's all we have to do is not make a mess of it. We've got enough pace to run away and hide and not worry about it. We're all good. However, <laughs> four corners later, hmm, I make an absolute horlix of it. Don't know how I stayed on, not a clue. We're back down to second, and we are, what, 1.6 seconds behind? So, we're grafting. It took six minutes to catch him up. Six minutes before I put myself in a position to go past. Start a lap 24. Two laps left. Two laps left. It's only a 26 lap race. No matter which way you do it and which way you slide it, it's a 26 lap race got a very little penalty, less than a tenth of a second. I've just got to stay in front, make no mistakes. However, the thing that I haven't realised is fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. The fuel light's just come on. We are, what, 30 seconds in to lap 25, so we've got this one and the next one. I go to default mapping, and I'm like, hmm, no, I still think that's using too much. I'm only 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a second in front. I've got to go to eco mapping. I have to go to eco mapping and I've got to make it last. And, oh dear me, panic. My hands went tight. I'm sweating. I'm leant forward. I'm a foot away from the screen instead of two, three feet away from the screen. I'm panicking. I'm braking early. I'm turning in. I'm running over curbs. I'm getting on the gas too early. The back end's stepping out. It's wheeling. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong because I'm panicking about losing this race but one minute a lap and a bit left i'll shut up i'll see you at the end
And it's done. It's done. Thank whatever deity you want to thank. And have a cup of tea. Because I was panicking. That was... Well, two hours, 120 minutes of riding around Valencia trying to do an endurance race. Oh my lord. Event-wise, I enjoyed that very good. I will be doing some of them races again. I'll probably do an endurance race again and bits and bobs. I will upload the full endurance race video and I'll also put the two up that I made a mess of. So, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave me a comment, like, subscribe. And fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Stay safe. Peace.